Hi, this is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Victorinox Venture Pro, a Venture Pro kit, and I also ordered an extra fire steel. I'll be cutting into the box with my classic SD Swiss Army knife. I showed this knife in a video about three years ago. This is a 33-year-old a knife. I've had it for 33 years. It was a present from my high school calculus teacher. She gave all of us a pocket knife for graduation, and it was a little worse for wear at that time. The the scales were cracked and I'd lost the toothpick and since then I have replaced the scales and replaced the toothpick and it looks like a brand new knife. Now one of the places I went to for information, one of the YouTube channels that I discovered back then, was Felix Eimler. He's a Swiss YouTuber who makes videos, bush bushcrafting videos, using Swiss Army knives. And I've enjoyed many of his videos and just enjoyed learning a bit about bushcrafting. Let me get this paperwork out of the way. And one of his more recent videos, he showed a knife that he helped design with Victorinox. Knox. The Venture Pro. Let me get all this out of the box. I ordered this directly from Victoria Knox after I watched his video. There's the fire steel. The rest is just paper. I'll get this out of the way. All right. I guess we will start with the knife. Let's see. This knife comes in two models. There's the Venture and then the Venture Pro. This is the Venture Pro. Let's see. All right. The Venture just comes with... The Venture just comes with this belt strap, this lightweight belt strap, and the plastic sheath. That fits nicely in my hand. A plastic sheath. Let's see. Well, the sheath is ambidextrous and it kind of snaps in there. A little bit wiggly, but snaps in there. So if you just want something lightweight to wear on your belt, let's see, this direction, I have trouble with it snapping it. Well, okay, there we go. That's not that bad. And a little elastic O-ring can just fit over the knife handle. It's got a little pull tab there. That's nice. So that's, if you want... A lightweight carry and this is what you would get if you just ordered the venture now I'm going to show my ignorance here but the venture doesn't have this little divot for making a fire with a bow you can use this as a pivot point for holding a stick and using a bow to make a fire I've always wanted to try something like that, so I went ahead and got the Venture Pro. Now that's the only difference between the Venture and the Venture Pro directly on the knife. The Venture Pro also comes with a plastic attachment to snap the sheath into that comes with a fire steel, which I'm excited about trying. 
and a little ballpoint pen. Well, I guess this video does have a pen in it. And the little Victorian Knox tweezers. All right. And I ordered a spare fire steel. Let's open the the Venture Pro kit next. Okay, Velcro on back for attaching it to your belt or a backpack or a bag. And a hook. You can unhook that reveals some sharpening stones. Yeah, you can place the sharpening stones in there. I can see myself maybe slipping a few band-aids in this pocket as well. I found this interesting. A 20 millimeter drill bit that you can use the back of the knife as a handle. I was having trouble figuring out how or if the knife attaches to the toolkit, so I checked out the documentation provided by the QR code, and they didn't seem to show how to attach the two, so I just played around with it a little bit, and it looks like, let's see. Take the knife off, pull the Velcro around front, and put the top strap through the top there, and the bottom strap goes through the bottom here, and then thread it back through to the back make sure it's pulled tight Looks like it's a nice, tight, well put together little kit. And then you can run a belt through up here. I don't know, it'd probably be a little top heavy if you tried to run a belt through there. Yeah, run, run a belt through right here. Another thing I discovered when I checked the documentation was that when using the sharpening stones, this may be something that's common on other tool kits or knife sheaths, but now the two stones are at the correct angle that you just hold the knife. It says hold the knife horizontal and the blade perpendicular, and then it's going to be at the right angle. So that's nice. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm anxious to give it a try tomorrow. I just wanted to note that there was no documentation in either box. You have to use the QR code to access any of that information. And I ordered all of this directly from Victoria Knox. 
I ordered it on a Tuesday. I got the free shipping because my order was over $50 and it arrived two days later. So that was impressive. And I live halfway across the country. I believe this came from New Jersey and it arrived to me halfway across the country in two days. So that was impressive. When I was a kid, long before the internet, there was this commercial for a knife that you could call a 1-800 number and order. It was similar to what we think of as the as-seen-on-TV products of today, but it was like a survival knife with a hollow handle, and it was full of all this survival gear, like some fishing line and some tackle and different little things that you might need in a survival situation. And I always thought that was so cool. I never got anything like that, but I always thought it was really cool looking. Fast forward to today, and I'm watching these bushcraft videos, and I learned that a hollow-handled knife is not ideal in a survival situation. It's not very practical. But I'm watching Felix's video, and he's showing all this cool stuff you can do. I'm a little outdoorsy. I like going on hikes and whatnot. And I thought back to that um, survival knife that I had kind of dreamed about as a kid. And then a couple days ago when Felix made a video about this knife that he helped design and showed all the gear that comes with it, and demonstrated some of the things you can do with it, and we'll be making more videos in the future, I thought, that's a knife I'd like to have. So I went ahead and ordered one, and I've been watching bushcraft videos ever since, and I'm making kind of a mental list of all the different things I'd like to try. The first thing I want to try is the fire steel. They make it look so easy to start a fire with the fire steel using a little dry material that you might find. I want to see how easy or difficult that's going to be. So that's going to be the first video that I make. If the weather's decent tomorrow, which the forecast says it should be, that's going to be the first thing I try. And there might be a fountain pen and notebook featured in that video as well. Well, if you found this video helpful or interesting, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.